Hello my dear friends, welcome to a new video from Mad Max Deals and Reviews. Today I present you the Ace Beam TK16. This small beauty was given to me from uh, Sven Stevich from houseofflashlights.de. I will have the link to his shop in the video description. Give him a visit please. And hit the subscribe if you're down there, you know. Um, the TK16 is a 16340 cell driven small flashlight. Available in a full copper body, which is in my box, and the aluminium with black anodization. And there is a hint for a titanium version. Possibly we'll get that to one, to one day. And uh, from the LEDs, you can choose Luminous SST20 with CRI of 95, Cree XPG3s, and the Osram LEDs, which have a beautiful tint. That's why I have them in my copper box. Uh, so, Let's have a look inside uh, what the flashlight looks like. The box from Ace Beam is a very nice design, thick cardboard, very clean, no, no big um, specs outside. And there is a drawer which unwheels the flashlight. There's nothing else in here. And when you get the copper for the first time, I will add pictures all the time, of course. Uh, the flashlight is in a vacuum sealed plastic bag, so the anodization process is stopped. I have, of course, taken some photos over the time. I've used it in the, in the time I've polished this once in between. So you will see different pictures uh, right now showing you the details of that small flashlight. There is a, a foam part with the box with the spare uh, spare parts as are two o-rings and a spare rubber button uh, of course the silica, silica gel is in there that is side then we have the flashlight of course and there is a thank you card at the, at the bottom a warranty card and the user manual which is English and Chinese in my version. In the copper version, the clip, which is reversible, of course, and the bezel, and here the part around the button is removable, it's not glued. So just take some rubber cloth, something like that, uh, give it a, uh, uh, you, then you can unscrew it. So you then can uh, exchange the rubber button here. I made pictures up front and if something happens to the glass lens if it breaks you can exchange the two so that's a great benefit because a lens is one or two dollars something like that or if the optic one needs to be replaced so that's a good thing that ASPM allows to replace that easy to break parts um, you can only unscrew the head uh, and in the head you have the main spring which is quite thick and an additional contact which allows uh, the electronic tail switch uh, to work and if you look here in the tube you see an inner tube and an outer tube the outer tube draws the current from the cell from the negative to the driver and the inner tube is just for the switch signal for the driver to detect what to do ace beam includes a small uh, 550 milliamp hours 16340 cell. I tested against uh, where are they? Here are they. I a protected black key bar which tripped uh, in turbo the, the, the protection circuit, so it doesn't work in turbo. I used the small uh, RCR123A rechargeable from by Lumintop, it's had a, a lower main a high power I tried to have some numbers here but that didn't work out very well unfortunately then i tried the shockley and the wave cell they worked quite well but the best already is is really the ace beam the original cell so get a second one or stick with that and see the numbers what i've seen is there is a big stress to the small cells so Please do not use any cheap cells because the power uh, this flashlight has a lot of power, and it's exactly uh, 1300 lumens 
from the Osram version and a lot of heat. So maybe we look at the sizes because I cannot show you the Amtro due to its closed design or double circuit design. We have a 16340 flashlight with an electronic back switch. That's uh, I'm not sure quite unique. I have another um, that's also 16340, the Lumitop Torpedo that has also but a regular switch on the back side. We have uh, OLED S1 which is also a little bit uh, thinner in diameter but that has a side switch. We have uh, this is a the jet beam uh, RRT01 with this um, nice uh, turn ring feature which is of course a lot longer and looking on the, a little bit bigger lights with a tail switch that's the S4, S42S or S41S I'm not very sure uh, from um, Astrolux which is also a lot bigger but it ha can hold uh, 18350 cells also the S43S with the side switch also a bigger flashlight so the proportions of the TK16 are quite nice and let's compare it with uh, S2 and probably so for better reference that's an 18350 cell and that's a 16340 cell about the user interface Acebeam contacted me uh, when I expressed that I do not understand why anybody or anyone would need an eco mode in a flashlight. So they told me what they were thinking or hoping to do when introducing that. They told me that the power mode in a flashlight like this, small 1300 lumens, big heat, fast step down, short run times if you unleash the full power, that's for experienced users, that's a power user mode. So not everyone wants that. There are a lot of people out there buying a flashlight like this for its nice looks, for the way the user interface works for them and they want to use it for a longer time and they are quite happy with less than 1000 lumens and having less heat, less issues, less problems with run times and step down. So they included the eco mode for those people. So that's of course a valid point, sorry for not having that in mind uh, when I told you the last time about the X70. So what does it look like? So we have this electronic switch which allows us to have a long click to start in moon, short click switches off. A short click starts in the last mode memorized and click and hold toggles from low, medium, high, low, medium, high. The speed is could be a little bit faster, but it's okay. And a double click brings us to turbo and a triple click to strobe. One, two, three. And short click is off. And also from off, double click goes to turbo. Triple click, sorry. Triple click, no, let's, it's off. One, two, three. Seems I do not get the triple click. There it is. It works triple click from off. Also, I have to be fast enough. Um, to switch between this power mode and the eco mode, you jo go just into the lockout, which is click and hold for five seconds. Then it blinks four times something, didn't count it. Then you have to click 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it goes from brighter to less bright, indicating lowering the power, which is quite intelligent to do it that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Going from less bright to brighter, indicating stepping up the power. So it's easy to understand better than three blinks versus two blinks. So low to high, high to low, that's clear. And then you have to unlock it again, click and hold for five seconds. This procedure is a little bit complicated. Probably you won't need um, to reread the user manual, but on the other hand, you cannot accidentally 
switch the modes by such a complicated thing. So I like that a lot. Um, what else can we see? The beam shape, I'll try that with my... Uh, you, we have a TRI optic. So expect there are, sorry, there are some rings. That's low, medium and high. That's turbo. So you see there are some artifacts from the optic. Looks looks worse here on, on the on the white wall or the black the black wall. And having the moon you can barely see that it's on, but it is. I like the mode stepping. That's that's a good choice. Also the user interface is very usable and for what the flashlight is used for having a nice looking great EDC of, with very high build quality. So there that's that's very good, it's very useful. Threads are rectangular cut, there is a little bit of lube on, on it, so it's been build quality, so I think that's no no point to speak a lot about that. Yeah. Let's have a look outside. Welcome back in my garden. At first I start as usual with my Lumintop FW3A in the highest regulated mode, which is around 950 lumens. I think this one is quite uh, comparable because it has also triple LED, also an optic and Again, it's 950 lumens now from a neutral white tint. For the people who do not know my garden, this here is 3 meters. Down there, this wooden box, it's 15 meters. The tree is 20 meters. And down there, the yellow garage door, that's at 30 meters. So using the ace beam starting at moon now pointing at three meters on the flowers in, on our front i can easily see it with my bare adapted eyes cannot see anything on my camera which, which runs of course in the manual mode manual exposure it's 1600 iso it's uh, f is 3.5 and i have a shutter speed or frame rate of 20 and it's manual for the focus too. So going to low, now I see on the screen of my camera also the trees, uh, the flowers here, sorry. I see the wooden box. I can easily see it down there, 30 meters, the garage. And I can notice the, the tree. So the spot is quite concentrated. It's more more spotty than the FW3A. So going now to medium, going to high. Color rendering of these Osram LEDs is quite good. And of course, I try to show you here. You see above the the flowers. If I move the light in the outer area of the spill, there are some artifacts. And now go to turbo. We see a very nice spot beam, the good co color quality. So going back with that and double try with the FW3A. That's the FW3A on nearly 1000 lumen on the trees, a very even beam on there. You can hardly see any spot. And this is the TK16. So you see a spot. I didn't take any measurements for the throw now, but you can easily see that's more concentrated beam. Therefore, it should be throw a lot farther than other flashlights in that size. So I hope you have seen a little bit, have an idea about this nice copper flashlight. 
uh, visit Sven's page, home of flashlights.de, and wish you a good night. Bye bye.